So in the past three weeks, we've seen a lot of news about potential changes that could come to the UK immigration policies. And um, it's been good news, bad news, good news, bad news again, you know, so much has been happening in terms of the updates that we get to see in the news regarding these potential changes. There's a video I watched today that made me just feel like I needed to make another video. I came across this new information, so I just thought I should let you know about it as one of the changes that may come in the coming weeks it's not really good news it's bad news to be honest and it's bad news because i know there are a lot of people that want to migrate to the uk to settle no one wants to go for a year or two and just study then go back to their country or go to work and then go back to their country well yeah there are people like that but majority of the people that want to go to the uk on either the study route or the work route want to settle in the uk or want to leave there for a while right so this is bad news if we are just meeting my name is jackie and you're welcome to my channel where i share content to help you migrate abroad to study to work and to leave my mission on this channel is to assist you improve your quality of life by opening your minds to opportunities available for you abroad now if this sounds like something you're interested in then subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notifications so you will know every time I post a new video. And to my returning subscribers, words cannot describe how much I appreciate you. Thank you for always coming back to watch my videos. Thank you for the likes, the comments and the shares. And if you've been watching my videos, like you've watched more than one of my videos and you're yet to subscribe, I wonder what you're waiting for. I'll really love you to subscribe to my channel. Obviously you like my content and I'll really, really like to have you as a subscriber. So consider subscribing to my channel so you can know every time I post a new video. And if you have interest in starting a YouTube channel or you're already a creator on YouTube and you want to learn how to run your channel more successfully, I have a channel for that. The name is Jackie Finance. On that channel, I share content, basically my secrets and strategies on how to run a successful successful YouTube channel. So you may want to subscribe to Jackie Finance so you can learn how to run your channel successfully. And also on that channel, I'll be sharing how to make money online. So I'm going to be sharing other side hustles you can do online to create multiple streams of income. So that channel is all about everything finance. So if you're interested in that, then do subscribe to Jackie Finance. I'll be linking it up here and in the description box as well. Thank you so much. So about the UK immigration, a lot has been going on. There's been a lot of proposals by ministers with changes they want to make to immigration policies. And uh, most notable has been about the dependent visa. You know, the number of dependents that came into the UK on the study visa was quite a lot. You know, it was like over a 70% increase, if I'm right, to what they had last year. And um, this caught their attention and they were thinking of looking into the dependent visa. So, so we thought of possibly a scenario where they would limit the number of dependents a student can come into the UK with, right? And as of then, it was only the study route that was mentioned in terms of too many dependents coming into the UK. But right now, that has also stretched to the work visa as well. I watched a video today where the Home Secretary, Swella Braverman, was talking about how there are too many immigrants in the country. And she specifically said that since 2019, she has thought that too many immigrants were coming into the UK and she has never really been a fan of too many immigrants coming into the UK. And she believes that the numbers right now are staggering and something needs to be done about it. She did mention that the dependents that come in, you know, with um, primary applicants for the student visa and even the worker visa as well, seem to take up low skilled jobs in the UK and she doesn't quite appreciate that. You know, she wants a scenario where 
everyone that comes into the uk are coming as skilled workers so they are looking at highly skilled jobs you know in terms of immigrants coming into the uk so basically she's really concerned about unskilled people coming into the uk as dependents so she wants to really slash the number of immigrants that make it to the uk and now this is going to affect students and it's going to affect skilled workers as well and she did mention that foreign nationals are coming into the uk to study just any course that is really not so relevant but just using that as a platform to make it into the uk and they're getting this admission in poor schools because she said you know these poor schools are giving admission to foreign nationals just so that you know they could fund the university all in all the summary is that she's not so pleased with the number of immigrants coming into the uk anyway so i want to read this um report by daily mail and the headline is Swella Breverman is set to restrict number of foreign students who can study in UK after finishing their studies. So this is a new addition to the things people need to worry about. The post work study visa may see some changes. So now she doesn't want this post study work visa to be available to all the international students, you know, so not everybody is going to have access to the post study work visa after their studies in the uk that is what she's proposing so that could be a change that may be coming in you know in the coming weeks and months who knows let's read from this report the home secretary is considering stricter rules for uk international students sweller braverman may restrict time they can stay after graduating from two years so right now international students can stay in the uk for two years after their study so she's looking at a situation where that will reduce and not even be available to every international student universities are so against this because they say that foreign students bring in 26 billion pounds into the uk annually so they are totally against any policy that could see to the reduction of international students that come into the uk i mean 26 billion pounds annually from international students alone that is something so let's read further the home secretary is set to restrict the total number of foreign students who can remain living in the uk after graduating from university to slash immigration numbers swella braverman who was appointed to the role by the prime minister Liz Truss, has committed to cut immigration and substantially reduce the number of unskilled foreign workers coming to britain from 239,000 to the tens of thousands so that is a very big slash she really wants to slash the number of unskilled foreign workers that make it into the uk but she also wants to reduce the number of international students who can apply for a graduate post-study work visa which allows any students who has passed their degree to remain and work in the uk for at least two years the home office are considering restricting visa applications only to those who have completed studies in high demand subject areas such as engineering you know the times reports so if your course is not of high demand in the uk you may not be eligible for a post study work visa anymore they are proposing i mean this is not so good news for people because people just want to study in the uk and then gain some experience like even if they don't want to settle in the uk forever they just want to be able to work in the uk after their study i think that is a very big thing for people well let's see how it goes let me read further but university bosses have slammed the home secretary's plan saying it sends a message that the uk is unwelcoming and hostile to international students who bring 95.9 billion per year to the uk economy through fees and spending so the universities are totally totally against this they believe that the revenue that comes in from foreign students is so beneficial to the uk of course it's so beneficial to their universities as well graduate visas were reintroduced in july last year after the then home secretary theresa may scrapped them in 2012 reducing the length of time recent graduates can stay in the country to just four months so post study work visa was in existence before 2012 and when theresa may was home secretary she slashed that from two years down to 
four months so graduates were allowed to stay in the uk to look for a job for only four months and if you're not able to get a job within four months you go back to your country i mean that was devastating because it just came in midway and many students that were already enrolled in the uk had to go back to their countries after their study many of them could not even stay back for their graduation ceremony because Many of the graduation ceremonies happen more than four months after their study. So it was really devastating back then. And then just last year, Boris Johnson made changes to that and reinstated the post-study work visa, allowing international students to stay back in the UK for two years, you know, to gain some work experience. Since the new scheme was introduced, 66,211 international students have been granted the right to remain in the UK, 99% of a total 66,787 applicants. So 99% of foreign students were granted their post-study work visa. So you can see that many students want to stay back in the UK. So cutting it was not is not good news at all. So if you're planning to move to the UK in 2023 as a student, you may want to leave your options open just in case this comes up so it doesn't catch up with you midway. Nearly half of all granted visas were given to Indian nationals at a total of 28,331, that is 43%. So 43% of Indian nationals were granted this visa and then 12% of this were granted to Nigerian students, which was a total number of 7,771. And then the 10% were granted to Chinese graduates. So that's to say Indians have the highest number of students that stay back to work in the UK and Nigerian students follow and then Chinese graduates. So these changes could come in many aspects. There may be some courses in universities that foreign nationals would not be able to get admission in and more universities may not even have the license to give admission to foreign students. And then there could be the changes in the number of dependents a student can take into the UK. And there could also be changes in the number of students that could stay back to work in the UK. I mean, this is a lot. This is a lot of changes. So I don't know, let's just keep our fingers crossed and I'll advise, keep your mind open. Look at other countries in Europe that you can go study. Just have options so you're not caught in the middle of all this. I have um, videos on my channel on how to migrate to other countries. So you may want to look at that. I have a video about universities in England that are free for international students and others that are very affordable. So you may want to watch that video to know your options. I'll be linking it up here and also in the description box as well. So just look at other countries, to be honest. There are amazing countries in Europe and beyond. So just, you know, research find other countries you can go to study and work and settle you know there are so many of them i'll bring you more updates on uk immigration as i get them so you may want to subscribe to my channel you know so you can see those videos when i post them all right thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next one and it will be good news